Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Got a great letter that came in, another in your own words from a Sergeite about his experience. This one comes to us from Russ Stanley. And Russ says, Hey Don, I wrote you a while back to thank you for helping me with my game. I feel complete, compelled to do it again. I've been very busy lately, haven't picked up a club in over a month. I finally got a day off and decided to go play. I didn't miss a fairway or green until the eighth hole. I toe hooked one into the left fairway bunker. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that's the end of my greens and regulation streak. See? Negative thought right there. Not good. Forget the bad shot and make sure the next one is better. Good thought. So here I am, 175 yards out in a fairway bunker, fairly close to the lip. Sounds like a tough shot here. Number one rule, what? Get it out. Don't clip the lip coming out or hit it into the lip. I get out my five hybrid and open it up slightly to make sure I clear the lip. Good thinking again. The ball fades beautifully towards the flag about 12 feet short of the hole. What probably would have been a double bogey before with my flatter swing becomes a routine par. I started the round with three putts on the first hole due to temporarily lost touch. I shoot 75, so it's obvious Russ is a pretty good player. Without the slow putting start to the round, I shoot even par. What does this tell us? It tells us that even though a long layoff, my fundamentals were sound. Absolutely correct. It tells us that the swing is simple and repeatable. Absolutely correct. That's the main premise of the PPGS, besides being a body-friendly golf swing. It tells us that vertical is the way to go. Correct the mundo again. In my earlier email I sent you, I mentioned that I had I was concerned with possibly losing distance with the shorter swing. I'm 56 years old. My 150-yard club is an 8-iron, and my second shot on a 309-yard hole was a putt. So he did hit one at least 300 yards, which possibly could very be well done, especially uh, if the conditions are right, downwind and, and, and uh, very probably hard fairway, because not too many people are going to hit 300 yards in the air, not even on tour. It's got to have, there got to be some roll out there for most players, unless you're a long drive guy. So he's hitting an 8-iron, 150 yards as his 8-iron club. That used to be my 8-iron club. Now it's a, a hard seven or an easy six. Thanks again for a completely unexpected great day on the golf course after a long layoff. I was expecting to shoot around 85. Sometimes I love being wrong. Well, now you're right, so you won't be wrong anymore, Russ. So Russ goes on. He, he signs it Russ Stanley, and he says, something else I must mention. Winter golf means no grass on the fairways. It's like hitting from a hard pan every shot. It can pretty much be like that. I mean, right now we're just starting to come out of it, but... There's places where the, over here in South Carolina where the, where the grass is starting to green up and, the, and it's starting the ball starting to sit up a little bit better. But then there's still some places that are that are still dormant and, and it's and it's the ground's a little hot because we haven't had rain in about a week and a half or whatever. And so it's 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 like clipping it off off a hard pan. It's like hitting from a hard pan on every shot. I used to hate shots like that, but with the vertical swing, the attack angle makes it the hard pan lie much easier to deal with. It's become a non-factor now. Really, really amazing stuff. Absolutely. Everybody thinks the vertical backswing is actually too vertical coming down. But remember, the vertical backswing, when we make the bump and come down, we actually flatten out. But if you've turned too much and you've got to come back to the, and you've turned too much and you come back in and you and you got the club laid off uh, uh, already and you're coming in from this position, what are you going to do if you hit the ball? It's going a mile to the right. So at the last second, you got to, you have to flip it. Plus the fact if you if you had a big turn and you turn your hip shoulders back this way, there's a high probability that that when you turn and lock your and, and turn your hips hard, your left your left knee and hips and, and shoulders hard, that turn moves you ahead of the golf ball. So you're ahead of it. So now you gotta you gotta flip it down even you come down from here and throw it at it even harder. So you're more steep. So the, road, the if you're flat, you're coming back the opposite, too steep. If you're if you're if you're vertical in the up in the backswing when you change. Coming down, it's going to flat. It's going to let not flatten off a little bit. But remember what we're supposed to do. Your bottom hand, if you're right-handed for righty, left-handed for lefty, you have to stop that club from from laying down too much because then you'll be in the same position as a, as somebody who takes a back takes a back uh, rotational. 
too flat coming in too flat, so you got to flip it, which is going to have it come back too steep. So you, when I'm when I'm swinging down, my 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 brain is telling my hand and working my my right hand over overtime to try to make sure that that I, I keep this club as vertical I can. In my mind, I swing a golf club. This is what I feel to make so that in my mind to produce a feel that keeps the club as vertical as I can, especially in a transition. I take the club straight back. I straight up. I come straight down. I swing straight up. In my mind, I'm swinging like this. All right. Now it's pretty close to what that is, right up there. And that's just about what it is on this side, right? When I go like this, okay? The only thing where I really got to work that extra, put that extra effort into is making sure I don't let that club lay off here. In my mind, I feel like it's still coming straight down. I know it isn't. I know it's laying down a little, but just the right amount of little. Too much little, and you're going to have the same problem as a rotational swinger, as Russ mentions in his little after, afterthought after he signed his name. PPGS is it. Why? Because it makes gravity your friend. You want gravity being your friend because we can swing a light club faster and with more control than a heavy club. And a light club is one that is in harmony with gravity straight up and down versus a heavy club which falls down behind you. All right, so play golf the gravity way the way God created golf to be played. And you'll be hitting it more solid and straight and enjoying the results that, that Russ saw and mentioned in this letter for you at your level of playing where you'll hit it more solid straight, likely longer, and start shooting lower scores. Vertical will make you a better player, no doubt about it. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.